What's up soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Don't mind the mess back there. I just got back in from Costco. You know, we got a long line, so your boy hat come in handy. The sun hot? When I tell you it's heat out there, I'm in Canada and I think Canada is only snowing. Real hot out there. Anywho, always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. A recipe which has been requested time and time again, times two. So the first Chris, we want a curry chicken with chicken breast that's nice and flavorful and moist. So we're going to address that. And two, Chris, slow cooker curry chicken. Hey, I got you today. And we're going to toss in some potato there to stretch it so everybody eating. Some rice and you're golden. Irie? What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. Here I have the insert for my slow cooker and I'm going to go in and that's chicken breast and I'm going to tell you right off the bat we're going to address a few things in this recipe. One, we're going to make chicken curry chicken breast juicy. Chicken breast is notorious for being dry and you know there's a Caribbean word we use and it's called hoxie which means it's very very dry like a cracker almost. So Four things we're going to address. We're going to make chicken breast juicy. We're going to make a recipe that's so simple to put together that you'll be doing it blindfolded in no time. Three, we're going to get a ton of flavor. And four, you can put it in there, let it go, go do your work, do whatever you got to do and come back and you have a nice little meal, something here. So we've got the chicken breast. I went in there with two tablespoons of olive oil. That's going to help add some, some juiciness to the chicken as well. We're making curry chicken, so we need curry powder. And we need, we need two heaping tablespoons of your favorite curry powder. It just so happened I make my own blend, so I'm not using that. But a Madras blend out of the Caribbean is nice. Black pepper. Lovely dose of that black pepper. In my humble opinion, fresh ground is always best. But as says Uncle Chris, salt. And I'm adding potatoes to this. So another thing, another sort of, uh, something we're gonna achieve here. I said sort of, fifth thing is, we're gonna achieve a nice big one pot, kind of something. So all you need to do is steam some rice. Hey, here now man, you enjoying yourself, your family enjoying this. And it's a great way to stretch chicken. The fullest of ingredients will be listed down below. Caribbean green seasoning, you know, it's got to make an appearance. A nice big heaping tablespoon, you know what? A tablespoon and a half, come on man. We're talking about flavors there. Cream coconut, or co cream coconut, or how, how do they call it? Cream of coconut, but we want cream coconut. That's a tablespoon of that. And it's gonna come in a block. It might be in the, in the fridge section of your grocery store. Tomatoes. That's going to add a nice acidity. It's going to bring that curry together. Plus, it's going to help thicken up the gravy later on. An onion, some scallion, two nice thick pieces of ginger, the bottom part of a scotch bonnet pepper, no seeds because that's going to mean a lot of heat. And I want four, five cloves of garlic. Now, if you don't like garlic, I man will pray for you. Garlic is a must in this dish here. And you can already... Oh, I know you can picture the flavors. I know you can. We're gonna go in with some cumin seeds. And now, we're gonna give everything a mix. It's gonna be colorful. It's gonna look good. It's gonna smell good. Your kitchen should have that lovely aroma. Boy, I'm telling you, you like curry, you like curry. You see that smell there, boy? I mean to say there's some bad curry to it, trust me. So, I lived in apartment buildings when I first moved to Canada. And some of them curry that be smelling, boy, wow. They'll be like, nah, dread. You have to, you have, <laughs> you have to walk with Febreze just to make it to the elevator. <laughs> oh, good. Just getting in trouble now. So you see the niceness there. Now I know this is gonna sprout a lot of its own juices, plus the steam is gonna create a nice little juice there. But to help things go in, I'm going in with quarter cup of water. We're gonna go in with some curry leaves. And I love adding one bay leaf 
to the mix and that is it I told you guys it was gonna be simple now all you would do you would cover this down and let it do its thing you know we got all them flavors in there and I guarantee you it's gonna be the most tender and juicy chicken breast in a curry that you've ever had I guarantee you that let me get a little let's tighten it up let's tighten it up oh good look at that real niceness burns so it's in the actual crock pot now or slow cooker and I have it on high for four hours if you're doing this on low you may need to double the time on it but we're starting off at four hours we may need to adjust it because I want to make sure everything is fully cooked and tender so for now four hours on high three and a half hours later I did end up stirring it once flavorful We've got a nice gravy on the bottom there remember if you want more gravy add a bit just a tiny bit more water everything is tender the, the potato is fully cooked here's where you're gonna do two things one well three things you're gonna remove the bay leaf and the curry leaves once you can see them fish those out nobody ain't trying to chew on that two test it for salt make sure it has enough salt to your liking and three go in with a bit of cilantro you know, and as I mentioned there at the start, I was over at the Costco and this thing was bubbling away. So all I needed was some boiled rice and I'm golden, man. Curry chicken with potato in a slow cooker. I hope you guys give this one a try. It is super flavorful, super delicious. And we covered all those bases, you know, quick, simple, easy and flavorful as well as you see that chicken there bursting with juice and flavors.